In most of these rape cases, perpetrators are said to be people from the same houses as their victims who are either family members or domestic workers. One of the cases is of a father who allegedly raped his under 16-year-old biological daughter at Okongo village. It is alleged that the suspect has been raping his daughter since last year. The man has not yet been arrested. Five murders were also committed this year, while domestic violence cases stand at 59 with 46 arrests. Ohangwena police has, however, expressed concern over the withdrawal of cases hindering prosecution of perpetrators of such crimes and efforts to fight crime. Another concern is that some families are reluctant to report cases, especially if the crime is committed by a relative or close friend of the victim's family. On longer constituents, councillor Eric Sandawanifa is worried about the increasing cases of GBV in his constituency. Every month, many cases have been reported. Families, they are bullying each other. It doesn't, no matter if it's a man or a woman, they are abusing themselves. Speaking at the commissioning of on longer gender-based violence task force, gender equality and child welfare, Deputy Minister Lucia Vetboy disapprove any form of violence against men, women and children. My people, I in the ministry and I believe everybody starting from the president, we are disturbed of what is happening in this country about gender-based this is not a Namibia that we know. It cannot be a Namibia full of gender-based violence. We cannot run a country, we cannot live in a country full of gender-based violence every day and night. We have to do something and to stop this. Nobody will come from abroad. We ourselves must change. We have to change our attitudes. Tonatenia Embody, NBC News, Shakati.